Edu, it's been a very active transfer window for Arsenal. So what can you tell me about it and the thinking behind it? Because the truth is, you may have spent the most money on players in the window out of any Premier League club, but the Arsenal fans are underwhelmed. Yes, I understand the reason. Because first, they didn't see the, the team yet playing together, isn't it? So that's the one of the reason as well. But I think you have to see the context a little bit bigger than just to see the, the money uh, around it. So um, we signed six players. Uh, six of the uh, six players was under under 23 players, which for us uh, means a lot in terms of our planning. So because normally people like us to see just one window. So I have to see a little bit bigger picture because if you take like a year ago, so we start planning the squad a year ago in terms of, you know, to consolidate the team, to try to get better foundation. So if you remember, um, in that period of the years, so we renew Bukayosaka, we renew Martinelli a year ago, with the intention already to get that, that kind of the, the, the basement in the team. So in one year period, we signed 10 players, okay? And seven of 10 is under 23. We renew seven players in this period as well, just for teams, seven players. Why we did that? Because we have a reason to try again to create a good foundation. And then, then one day, maybe we're going to sign one or two players only. But after that, it's impossible to sign one or two players only because we have a lot to do. We have to balance the squad better. We, ho we have to um, recruit the players with the right characteristics, recruit the player with the right uh, profile to make the squad better, solid, and much more consistent because you suffer a lot of the, the last season in, in the consistent moment during the, the season, which now I want to give to Mikel and to the board uh, a much better squad.